Hello, you guys are probably dealing with a 2001 to 2007 Ford Escape that has a battery that is draining overnight. And that's because your, when you do your parasitic draw test, which you can see how to do in another video of mine, it probably is like 300 something. Uh, so <clears throat> this is a 146 milliamps and I've let it sit for three days and my voltage maintained above 12 volts. I know they say they recommend 40 to 60 milliamps, but I pulled every fuse in this circuit and uh, the one that, one of them pulls it and everything turns to zero. So this is as low as I can get it, which is fine. So let me just show you the quick solution because the accessory delay relay is the problem. Oh, well here, let me show you this. And that could be such a headache because it's, it's behind the console here and you'll have access on the driver's side uh, to relays in there. I mean, if you want to do it right, you're going to have to pull this whole thing out and get the wiring diagram. And it could be a relay, but a lot of people don't have time for that. Um, my quick solution was fuse number seven, which is for the radio cluster and something else. That's the circuit that's staying alive because of the accessory delay relay. So I just put an inline fuse with something that's turned on with the key. I just went off the subwoofer. Um, and basically the radio and everything will turn off. I don't have the key on me, but, and then when you turn it on, the radio still retains its memory. So it's kind of a shortcut. So I hope you like my video. And the whole project will probably cost you less than uh, $5. But like I said, Number seven is that accessory delay relay circuit. And fourth one down all the way to the left is your subwoofer. You can find the diagrams online. Just want to find one that turns on and off with the key. And make sure it's fuse protected. Thanks guys for watching.